Um, yeah, it was really, really important. Like, like not only does it teach you the kind of work that's required, the, like, the amount of work required, but also, I mean, it's especially for medical school, you have to show that you're determined to do what you want to do, like, which is medicine. So you have to do a lot of work experience based with people. And you'd actually be surprised how difficult it is, even though it sounds easy to go and help out a hospital, go help out a residential home. Residential home? You know. Yeah, Yeah, because yeah, to be honest, medicine is all about ticking the boxes. That's Because there's so many people, like you said, they get all A's, all their GCSEs are really good, but they don't get in. So you really do need to tick the boxes, and work experience is massive. They really want you to do, it's really three main types of work experience. One's in a hospital, which I think we did St George's, didn't we? Yeah. Um, I did St George's. With, there's a woman called Mary Kinsella, and she's got links to KGS. And Mr. Barker helped us organise a week there. And then um, through my dad, I organised two weeks at different hospitals. Mm -hmm. And then we also did a Ross Clare Residential Home, which is in Tolworth. Mm -hmm. And we went there, what was it, two or three hours every Tuesday or something? And that was for eight, nine months. So you have to show a substantial amount of time that you've actually done it. And then for Duke of Edinburgh, I also worked at Cancer Research, um, and that was that was voluntary, just at the till and stuff. And so I just put that down as well as working experience. So that's less important because it's more science rather than medicine. Mm. They really want you to do hospitals and mm. hospice. Um, just also adding on to that, um, one really helpful place to get this work experience is Kingston Hospital. They run this, um, which is what I did. I don't know if yeah. did it, but. Um, you go and help out uh, at the geriatric ward of feeding all people, mm -hmm. and it's it's pretty difficult. But because King's Hospital is so near, it's pretty easy to get around everyone. But it teaches you really like the amount of patients you need. So that's one that's useful, not just to you know tick the boxes, but to actually teach you what you need to do for medicine. Is it easy to get these placements and work experience these days with hospitals and their health and safety regulations? Uh, it's not just health and safety, it's just the fact yeah. that they don't want you there. And you realise that when you go there. I mean, you have to be really nice. You can't, you can't email them being like, oh, yeah, 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 can I work there? You have to, be, you have to really be sucking up to them, basically. And, and, and giving a reason why you can help them out, rather than you know, asking them to help you. So what's the best way of making contact? Well, um, through, to be honest, either through someone like us who are in medicine, or if your parents or someone that you know works in a hospital, like I had, my dad works at Bart's Hospital, which is also with the Royal London, and so I have two weeks there. And I think Becca, you've got links to Kingston, don't you? Yeah. And so it was easy through our parents. If we had to email by ourselves, just as a prospective medical student, then we'd no pretty much yeah not even get a reply. 